All right, we just hopped off our lift. We're about to go into Hotel Aventura at Universal. We have switched over from Disney to Universal. Let's take a look at Nice. Oh, luggage services. There's nobody there right now. All right. We are checked in. We don't have a room number yet, but it's gonna text us when we get one. And we got our tickets here at the hotel also, which is really nice. You don't have to go to the front gate of the park. You can just get your tickets right here. You can pick up your tickets right here inside the hotel. Over here is where we checked in for our room. And over there where it says luggage is where we dropped off our bag. So in the morning, there's different breakfast stations. I think later in the day there's more options. There's all this bakery over here. So we're gonna get some food. I think that's the pool and then beyond is Volcano Bay. So we'll let you know what we end up deciding to get for breakfast. Alright, so we've got a giant waffle. I got this fruit and granola bar and we're sitting inside right by the pool. At Hotel Aventura at Universal. Crazy that this is a um, budget hotel. Um, yeah, it's really nice. And I know that Volcano Bay is like right over there somewhere. So we'll show you that in a little bit when we head there after breakfast. there the urban pantry where we had breakfast and there's a fire pit and a place to get towels and return towels and here's the aventura pool it's pretty small but it's nice peaceful what adequate yeah but if you want something a little more you just walk a little further and you'll be at volcano bay which is where we're gonna head to next Hotel Aventura and we got our room and we want to check out this bar restaurant that's up on top you can see all the parks so that's where we're gonna go next we're gonna check out in our room and check out Bistro 17 and it can literally walk you right from that to the hotel pool I do and we need to return the towels that we borrowed. <laughs> oh, I got this wonderful Jurassic Park key. <laughs> Hot tub time machine. It's too hot, it's in the sun. I'm gonna skip it for now, but maybe later. Yeah. So here's the pool here. It's small, but it's nice. Y'all, we are on the 16th floor. There's only one more floor to get to the rooftop bar. I'm thinking that's going to mean we're going to have an awesome room. Oh, here it is. 16, 16. Yeah. Oh, nice! Wow! Theme park view for sure. That's beautiful. That's crazy, man. Look at that. From our room, you can see Hogwarts. You can see all the roller coasters. And you can see the highway and the city of like Orlando proper. What a cool room. We're at like the very front of the hotel too. That's where we got dropped off this morning. Very sweet. So when you come in the front door, you got your full length mirror. I just came back from Volcano Bay, so I'm still in my swimsuit. You got a closet with the iron and safe and extra bedding you can hang stuff up 
The couch that probably pulls out into a, another little bed. The big king size bed with the awesome theme park view. The TV, little desk area with a Bluetooth speaker and some plugins and USB outlets. Coffee maker, that's nice. Is there a fridge under here? Oh yeah, there's a little mini fridge in here. Put your leftovers or some drinks in there. And then over here by the bed, you have the tablet, which tells you all the information about the parks and the hotel. It even says your name and your room number. And then some more plugs and USB's bedside, which is really nice. And some little reading lamps. Very groovy. I like it. Good for adults. So this is the rooftop bar, Bistro 17. It's raining and storming right now. Woo! Great place to get struck by. This is a theme park. taking it back to our room um, but the rain has let up a little bit but I just wanted to point out that they do have fans up here for summer when it's hot they also have heaters for in the winter if it's kind of chilly so this is just an awesome hotel and what a cool place to have a drink or have dinner up on the rooftop where you can see all the, of, um, the, the roller coasters over there Volcano Bay over there Cabana Bay the hotel I mean it's just Really cool. So we bought our Bistro 17 food from the rooftop back into our room since it's storming. And Luke got a cheeseburger with fries. With bacon, oh, mushrooms, yeah. oh. and onion. Pretty loaded. And yeah. And then it comes with this sauce. I asked for it on the side. So Looks I'll like try it, maybe Thousand Island or something. It's a special sauce. Special sauce. Then I got these little bow guys, which look pretty tasty. I got one pork belly and two of the short rib, and they look pretty delicious. And you know, we've got the thunderstorm theme park views right here out the window in this climate controlled room. Come out the front doors, the arrow tells you to go this way. And so we're gonna walk around, find the bus. We're not really making rope drop, but we're gonna be still early to park open, so. Hopefully the cloudiness is scaring people away. I mean, it has been raining a lot in the afternoons. We just, uh, yes. I think it comes like right here. I think this is where we line up. The marquee is black. So that's not great, but yeah, we're right by the 
Aventura. So Aventura is really close to Volcano Bay, but we want to get to Islands of Adventure. I think this is like a 15 minute walk, but you do get your own security line when you walk, so that's a plus. We've already been walking for <laughs> quite a few days, so we're gonna wait for the bus. So we'll keep you posted on how long it takes. Got a bus. Yay! That didn't take very long. That was just a couple of minutes, you guys. That was pretty fast. We do have to walk through City Walk, though, to get there. So then the bus drops you off here at City Walk. Take the escalators up, walk through City Walk, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe that's only for Universal Studios. And then we'll scan our tickets and we'll head back towards Velocicoaster. To the left. Oh. No Man, people are running. <laughs> I don't know that I'm that committed right now. R.I.P. Jimmy. The sun gotcha. Wear sunscreen, kids. Alright, heading into Islands of Adventure. Hopefully it's still a 10 minute wait for Velocicoaster because it was 75 for Hagrid. Yeek. We didn't quite get here early enough. <laughs> but there's the Hard Rock. That's super walkable. If you stay there, you get what you pay for because you're super close to the parks. Do our best little entryway. Looks so cool. Happy birthday, Luke! Thanks. How old are you today? 40. It's official. Not until 6.22 p.m. apparently. <laughs> so this is the shape of the hotel and now it looks like a fidget spinner. But they're everywhere. And like, there's a whole bunch of elevators. Alright, checking out of Aventura. It's been nice. It was a good hotel. It's a good location. You're nice and close to Volcano Bay and it's short bus ride to the other two parks. It's always been quick. There's always been a bus. Mm -hmm. 